you guys. How y'all doing out there? Hope you guys are doing well. So anyway, what I want to what I want to talk about in this video is I want to talk about something that has really been kind of bugging me since about 2014, 2015, I want to say. And anyway, what it is is the it's about the 2K series. Okay. Okay. So, 2K. Look, I know you guys are doing the WWE games, but I really think it's time that you guys finally, you know, uh, do something different. Because, honest to God, it's like the games are just, they just all seem the same, you know? I swear to God, 2K14 was the last time you did anything unique with it. Yeah. 2K14 was the last one you did that was that had that was any bit different. From 2K15 onward to 2K24 and probably beyond. It's like the roster feels the same, the match types feel the same. The PS4 and now PS5 versions of the games all feel the same. And anyway, guys, here's some things that I would do or change in WWE 2K25 and beyond. And possibly add to 2K24. Okay? One. Different arenas. I know, WWE, you have the footage. Like, for example, let me give you a few examples here, okay? Now, I know you guys have the rights to use the ECW arena and the WCW arenas. Yeah, that's one, that's one example. Like, like, say you want to have a match at, say, World War III, 1998 or something like that. Can't do that. Because it doesn't have the because they don't have the arena in that game. And again, that's just that's just one thing. Two. How about the ability to use custom music? And don't nobody out there give me that crap that says, Oh, they don't do that anymore in games. Well they should. Cause like, what if a superstar changes their music like Let's say like one month they're using this song and the next month they're using they're using a different song, you know? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I mean like for example, like remember how Stone Cold was using that, that one song by Jim Johns Jim Johnson that he that he made back in nineteen ninety six, like late ninety six, early ninety seven? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah that. The one that we all probably all know. And then in 2000 when he came back. He started using Disturbed Glass Shattered. That's what I'm talking about right there. And. Well. <sighs> WWE 2K. I hate to say this. And I'm really actually not ashamed to admit this. But the the fan the people who play your games actually do a better job of making the games look better than you do. Cause at least they try to make the game the game look, you know, as good as possible. You know, by actually having you know, like people they've created the game and arenas and things like that, you know. Just saying. Three. Attires. Like, let's say a superstar has more than more than one attire. Like, let's say a superstar one month is using like, oh, I don't know, using like a is wearing like a wearing like a jacket one month. Then the next month they decide not to wear said jacket. 
update. There you go. Problem solved. Again, keep their attires and things like that updated. Yeah. Number four. Oh boy, this one. Removed superstars who for one reason or another you guys will probably never talk about ever again. And yeah. I know. I know what you guys are thinking. This is going to be a little bit of a tricky subject. I know. I know. Yes, it is. Let me finish. Now, what I'm talking about here is I'm talking about mostly about, you know, superstars who were either in the WWE, you know, with like, say, the mid-90s or early 2000s, and you guys pretty much have erased them from history for one reason or another, which I really don't understand why, because they were on your roster. And yet, people actually remember they were there. So, yeah. And yes, I'm not kidding about, I'm not kidding about any of this, people. And, okay, five. <clears throat> Get rid of showcase mode altogether. It's got to go. It's, it's really doing nothing. It's serving no purpose anymore. Like, take 2K24s, 40 years of WrestleMania. What a waste of time that was. No, really, what a waste of time it is. Because it adds nothing, it really gives you nothing, and when you complete it, you literally have done, you, you've accomplished nothing at all, so you might as well just get rid of it altogether. Six. Online mode altogether, yes. Get rid of it altogether. There's no reason for it anymore. And I know, I know what people are going to say. I know what people are going to say. Why should they get rid of online mode? I'll explain. The reason why I think they should get rid of online mode is because, really, what purpose does that mode serve nowadays? Nothing. You can't compete for custom championships. You can't do anything. You can't really do anything much with it. And ever since 2K20, it's like you guys have literally just just literally screwed up online mode altogether. Knowing the fact of how much of a problem 2K20 was. Oh yeah, that game was a problem. Yep. Now... Number seven. Seven. What's the seventh thing I would change about it? Or get rid of? Let's see now. How about... Try this. How about you make two different versions of WWE 2K25? Just a suggestion. And these are such suggestions. One, make it with the current roster and have their roster and have their arenas in the game. And this is where number two this is where two comes in to the situation. Make a make a make a get bleh, make a version that's all legends, and I don't mean legends who think they're legends. But in fact, legends who have actually earned the right to call themselves by that moniker. I can think of at least one person who should be included as a legend, because he's not a legend. And I think we all know who I'm talking about. 
Initials are JC, and I think you know who I'm talking about. WWE literally shoved it down our throats during the PG era, which is still going on to this great day, people. Now, is there anything else that I would think of to change or get rid of? How about if you're going to have something like ro a Road to WrestleMania mode, how about you make it something that's, how about you make it to where, where it's actually kind of like it was in All-Stars? I'm just saying. Because let's face it, 2K, you're not really doing anything with WWE with the WWE games that is new. You're doing the same thing literally as literally as EA is with Madden. You're taking old features from old you're taking old features out from previous games and you're putting them back in and calling them new. Uh uh. That don't cut with me. Not no, that don't cut with that don't cut with me, mister. With me, Mr. Man. Nope. You actually have to do the work. Here's a suggestion for you. If you're going to have, like I said before, if you're going to have, like, a, a version of 2K25 that is all legends, include rosters that were, include, a, include the roster that is actual legends and arenas that were around. Say back in the Hogan era, New Generation era, the Attitude era, and Ruthless Aggression era. Yeah, if you're gonna make a if you're gonna make a WWE 2K25 that is an All Legends edition, do that. But do not include any of this garbage. Do not censor things that don't need to be censored. And you're. In the showcase mode in 2K24, I say you should have just cut that crap out. And that's another thing. That is something else that's, dri that's driving me nuts. Okay, get this. Some people have actually been able to those cutscenes, and yet they're still up on YouTube today. WWE, what the heck? I thought you guys wanted your game to be promoted. You know what that would mean if you actually allowed them to stay up and you didn't do anything with and you do it didn't do anything like claim them. It would actually promote your game as being competent, like it's like the game department is actually being ran by people who know what they're doing. But they don't. They don't know what they're doing. No, they don't. Let's see. Number nine. How about you actually try using the audio from the WrestleMania that? But okay, if you're gonna actually have a road to WrestleMania, but a road to WrestleMania showcase mode, why not use the audio that that was actually there? I mean, you guys have access to the archival audio. Of your own library, right? Like, for example, at WrestleMania at WrestleMania three, use the art, use the audio from the match that was there. And when you need to, then you can have then you can have Corey Graves cut in to say whatever it is he's got to say. At least then the match would actually sound, you know, like. You know, like it's actually being commented on by the people who actually were you were doing the commentary that night. Because the commentary in WWE 2K24, oh my god, it sounds dull as dishwater. I mean, I mean, Michael Cole sounds honest to God like he wants to fall asleep. The other two. Honest to God, just just don't even sound like they even care anymore. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think WWE needs to get? Do you think 2K needs to needs to just 
let this let the rights let the contract expire or do you think someone else needs to get needs to take that needs to take the WWE games and maybe do something with it because honest to god I think it's about time for someone else to try their luck cuz you can't do much worse than that and again guys you know share your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think because <clears throat> honest to God, guys, I think it's just time for someone else to try their luck. Because honest to God, after the disaster that that was WWE 2K20, it's time for someone else to try their luck. I'm not kidding anymore. So guys, while you're at it, like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below. If there's a subject you want me to talk about, just leave. Just also leave it in the comments down below. Share this video around if you feel so obliged to. That's your right to do so. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. Share the video around for those who wish to see. And my friends, do not forget to subscribe for more of me. And these videos you shall see. And until next time, later fam squad.